hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's simply nicole and here on my channel we talk about all things related to personal growth healing and authenticity so if that sounds like something you would be interested in subscribe below to join the healing harmony i'm gonna need some air okay so i want to talk to you guys about knowing your worth and know your worth and then add tax I was watching a really great message about confidence and self-esteem and how when you have reached a point where you have high confidence and high self-esteem, you'll realize that if someone's not treating you right, if you attract a relationship where you're being mistreated, you're being gaslit, you're being talked down on, you know that that relationship is not for you. You know that that relationship is not from God and therefore you don't want it and you move on from it and you just remove yourself from that situation. Now that sounds a lot easier said than done because a lot of times you can already be more attached to the person where you try to work backwards and gain their validation for your ego when really you guys were not starting off spiritually connected. And it just reminded me of a situation where there was someone that I met and we were, I, I was attached, I'll be honest, I was attached and we connected a lot in the physical realm but when it came to my emotions or our communication style or value and respect, everything just kind of went, it just, nothing made sense anymore. And I knew that that meant that this situation was not for me. I didn't even see the situation as being long-term anyway, but it bothered me and it hurt me that I kind of, I kind of looked at this person as mm, not a friend, but an associate. And once I realized that I had to walk away from that situation, almost reject that person, reject the dynamic that we were having, I didn't want to do that dynamic anymore because I saw that the things that mattered, the spiritual stuff, was out of the question for him. He just, I don't even know how to explain it, but basically this person didn't really respect the way I felt and I didn't want to be in that kind of dynamic. It bothered me and it hurt me. And... I realized that I went through this phase of, I had high confidence and I had high self-esteem, but I wanted other people to know that. I wanted him to know, I value myself too much. I think of myself too highly to be in this situation. And I realized that you can't control other people seeing your value and your, your self-worth and the way you view yourself. You can't control them seeing it as very high because really, They're only going to see it at the level that they have for themselves. And so I realized when I heard that YouTube video, I realized that that's the mistake I've made in that past situation where I knew that I did not want to be in that situation. I walked away. But because I was associating with this person and had built a bond and we had rapport, I wanted him to know that I didn't want to be in this situation anymore because of my high self-esteem and my high confidence and what I felt I deserved. And that's where I got really, really, that's where it really started to hurt because that was my ego looking for his validation. Um, so you have to know that you have high self-esteem and high confidence for you, not for that other person. And it really made me not want to associate with this person anymore because I can't associate with you when you think I'm boo-boo the fool, but I associated with him for as much longer as I needed to. And just my action, I let my actions show how, how I felt about myself, how I felt about our dynamic. Cause clearly when I was saying it, expressing verbally that I wasn't happy or that I felt like we should do this or that I felt like we should talk about this, that wasn't working. So I guess actions speak louder than words. So I had to show him, no, show him I'm not doing this. No, you can't sway me. And I did make some mistakes. That was back when I wasn't being intentional with my dynamics. And I should have gotten to know him better, vetted him better, used better discernment. But like I said, I share my mistakes on here. I share my transparency. And that's really not a mistake. It made me who I am today. I'm grateful for the wisdom. I'm grateful for the wisdom that I got from that situation. 
but it reminded me i gotta start i gotta keep doing my affirmations god i don't want it if it's not from you i would not entertain a situation that is not that does not respect me i will not entertain a situation in which i don't feel valued but in order to do that you really it's all about moving slowly moving slowly stop rushing stop seeking these validation this validation from your ego and validation in the world this time last year, I, I mentioned before on one of my live streams, this time last year, I was feeling overlooked, feeling like I never had any validation, feeling like maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I don't look good enough. Maybe anything I try is just not good enough. And I started to question and started to doubt. But now with my affirmations and with God, there is no room for doubting. There is no room for questioning. There's only room for confidence. So I really hope that you remember to know your worth, know who you are in God, and then add tax. And don't be afraid to walk away. The adding tax is not being afraid to walk away from something as soon as you realize that it is not serving you, that it is not from God. Move slowly and use discernment. That's all for this video. See y'all the next one.